All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechachodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I uh, got this little clip where I was uh, watching this video. And, um, you know, this Edomite, which um, is, is in lead, okay, uh, with these elites and pushing this new world order. Because right now we're in the first stage of their new world order, which it represents a one world government and a one world currency. All right. Eventually. All right. When that time come, they're going to be forcing everybody to take a chip. All right. Which the Bible calls the mark of the beast. And um, when I saw this, you know, this little clip and then what he said, it's an old video. You know, the works of their new world order didn't start yesterday. It started a couple of years ago. All right. You know, started many years ago. Um, but, you know, with all this being said, uh, when I saw this clip and he, you know, made this statement that I'm going to show you, you know, I thought of Yahweh Shah immediately because these devils know that, you know, they have but a short time. Matter of fact, um, let me uh, get that scripture real quick. Let me get that scripture real quick. This is Revelations chapter 12 and verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in the in, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Alright, so these elites, they know they have but a short time. Because why? Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's on his he's gonna make his second return. Alright, and what they want to do is establish their new world order, have everyone microchip and under this control, you know, under them, so that the Lord, you know, bas basically so that they, they can defeat prophecy. You know, these elites, when it goes back um, to, uh, it goes back to Jacob and Esau, you know, these elites really want the birthright back that Jacob had uh, supplanted Esau two times for, all right? So, with that being said, let me play this video, and um, it just proves that um, that Yahweh Shai is near. All these, uh, everything that's happening right now, all these new restrictions, and each day they keep coming up with uh, the next step. All right, the next step because we're in their new world order. You know, it's gonna get real tighty. It's gonna get real tight, real restriction. The draconian laws are, are in effect. All right. Um, she also played in this video when you watch the entire video how um, clippings that's not being shown on uh, mainstream media and how they're protested in certain places. They having an uproar, you know, going down to their local city hall and expressing themselves and how another clipping where the cop tells a preacher, uh, 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 you know, a, a pastor, a preacher, whatever, in the government churches that their constitutional right been, been suspended. They have no rights. And that just proves that that's Satan. Anyway, that just proves that um we're, we're, we're under martial law. All right. The military is here for a reason. All right. So uh without further ado, I'll play this video. Itself. They don't they make no bones about telling you exactly what they intend to do. While these ultimate plans and ability to use technology to extinguish the dissidents and control who is left seems incomprehensible to those of us listening to a God-given conscience. But the gift in this grand, bold chess move at the hands of the elite is that many more will begin to comprehend the depths of their evil as well as the fact that a new world order really was their ultimate goal after all. A man named Walter Cronkite was the face of the perception creating media for almost an entire generation in America through the Vietnam War, through the murder of JFK, 
and through <laughs> putting men on the moon. When he later received his gift of excellence from the World Federal Association, they said this. World government is the structure necessary for global justice. Good evening and congratulations, Walter, on receiving the World Federalist Association's Global Governance Award. For more than a generation in America, it wasn't the news until Walter Cronkite told us it was the news. Every night at 6 o'clock, we welcomed you into our living rooms and listened as you explained the complex events of the day. For decades, you've told us the way it is. But tonight, we honor you for fighting for the way it could be. You, sir, have been a lifelong advocate of this principle, and it is appropriate, therefore, that we present you with this amethyst geo. First priority of humankind in this difficult era is to establish an effective system of world law that will assure peace with justice among the peoples of all the world. First, we Americans are going to have to yield up some of our sovereignty. That's going to be, to many, a bitter pill. It would take a lot of courage, a lot of persuasion to them to come along with us on this necessity. Pat Robertson has written in a book a few years ago that we should have a world government, but only when the Messiah arrives. <laughs> he wrote, any attempt to achieve world order before that time must be the work of the devil. Well, join me. I'm, I'm glad to sit here at the right hand of Satan. I'm, I'm glad to sit here at the right hand of Satan. These people admit their allegiance because it is required. And Bill Gates, Microsoft, also admitted theirs when, in the time of all this chaos, they released their promotion of an artist well known to partake in satanic rituals on the day that is known to represent the day Jesus was crucified. All right, anyway, you know, you saw it. It just shows you that, um, you know, this, 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 uh, this, this, uh, condition that we're living in now, all right, have been planned, okay, and staged a long time ago. And they're just acting out on their plan, on their mission, okay? And you heard the devil. You heard what he said, man. His allegiance with Satan. You know, these elite, excuse me, um, these elites starting with the Rothschilds, all right, and these um, these these other Edomites that's joint air with them to help push these uh, the agenda across the world, all right, is a bunch of devils, man. That's why, like I said, let me go back and read the scripture again. Let me get it in this Bible. Let me read the scripture again so it can sink in. This is um, Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, all right, and ye that dwell in them, because also earth is also a heaven. Okay? It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil. So now you should know who the devil is, man. Okay? It says, For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And this wrath is going to come. We're now, uh, we're now in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. Okay? If you don't apply to the mind control that um, is set up before you, you're going to be trodden underfoot. Okay? It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the, of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Now, the devil is not, you know, it's not um, some creature or spirit that lives under the ground and, you know, torments you because you've been bad on the earth and you sent. No, the devil is talking about as a man. The word devil just means uh, a deceiver. All right. And let me get this one last scripture, you know, just came to mind. And we always bring out these same scriptures, man. You know? But anyway, Isaiah chapter 32 and uh, verse 4 says, The heart of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. 
the veiled person shall be no more called liberal, for nor the chore said to the bountiful. For the veiled person, which is Esau, will speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy, to utter error against the Lord Yahweh, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments also of the chul are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right, and um, I'm pretty sure brothers in the know, we know what this word chul mean. All right, now this word chul means an impolite and mean-spirited person, a person of low birth, a peasant. All right, and who was that? That's Esau. Okay, Esau name in Hebrew means a Shashawan. All right, means wasted away is he. Okay, what is wasted away? His pigment. You know, that's why you Edomites are not, you know, you're not white, you're actually red. Okay, your blood show forth through your skin. And that's why you're the only creatures on the planet that look like that. You know, let me uh, fix the video. You know, but anyway, you know, now you should, you should know, man. All right. So I just wanted to play that real quick because it was real interesting that this guy said this, you know. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachach Hodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.